morning students you are welcome to our e-class i am mrs Sisirame. i'll be teaching you english language and the topic for today is adverb the topic again is what adverb before we continue i would like us to look at what we intend to achieve at the end of this lesson at the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify adverb in sentences. Use them correctly in your own sentences. What then are adverbs? Adverbs are those words that give more information about a verb by telling us the time, the place, the manner of Frequency of the action denoted by the verb. They can also give more information about adjectives. Adverb in the same sentence. Adverb, therefore, modify a verb, another adjective, or another adverb. What that means is that an adverb can give us more information about a verb, an adjective, or another adverb in the same sentence. For example, it was raining heavily. It was raining heavily. Heavily there is telling us how the rain was falling. How it was falling. Was it uh, Shallowing or was it heavily? So heavily is therefore an adverb modifying the, the verb raining. The second in the second sentence, the old man walked slowly. Slowly is modifying it's an adverb modifying the verb walks. In the third sentence, the, he ran quickly. Quickly, as an adverb, is modifying the verb run. The line words add meanings to the verb in the sentences. Therefore, they are adverb. They are modifying, they describe, they tell us more about verbs. Most adverbs end in ly, although not all. Sometimes adverb modify adjectives or another adverb. For example, I am tired, I am very tired. You discover that here ad the, the, the adverb very is modifying an adjective. In the second sentence, the boy fell quite unexpectedly. Quite, as an adverb, is modifying another adverb, still in the same sentence, unexpectedly. So that is what we understand by adverb. Right now, we would like to see the types of adverbs. Types of adverbs. The first one we would like to look at is adverb of manner. This tells us how an action takes place. The manner in which an action takes place. They, they are usually placed after the verb they modify and they answer the question how. For example, he shouted angrily at the careless driver. Somebody can shout and not in an angry manner. You can raise your voice without being angry. But yeah, see? he shouted angrily at the careless driver. The manner in which he, the manner in which he shouted. The second sentence, I slept soundly last night. Soundly, as an adverb, is modifying the verb slept. The manner in which she slept. 
Number two, Abbey of Place. Abbey of Place tells us where an action takes place. They answer the question where. They come after the verb and direct objects. For example, we went everywhere in search of water. Everywhere here is what? Abbey of the Place. Put the chair there. Put the chair there. There here also is a verb of a place. Mom is at home. A verb of place. Number three, a verb of time. A verb of time tells us, tells us when a nation takes place. They occur at the beginning, middle, or at the end of sentences. For example, yesterday I received a call from my dad. A verb of a time. A verb of time. I will see you later. Later. A verb of a time. The goals will soon be delivered. Soon, I have a fair time. Number four, I have a frequency. This tells us how often an action takes place. They answer the question, they answer the question, how often? They occur before the verb or at the end of the sentence. For example, she comes home she comes late to school always. She comes late to school always, always. A verb of frequency. We travel to the village for Christmas often, often, often. A verb of a frequency. It gets very cold in the south sometimes. Sometimes there is a verb of a frequency. Now, the last but not the least. Aver of degree. That's number five. Aver of a degree. These aver are used before adjectives or verbs to tell us to what degree a nation is performed. The weather is very cold. The weather is very is very cold today. My uncle is too wicked. I was so tired. That I went straight to bed. The words very, too, so they are all adverb of a degree. Now, students, let's try and see if we can identify the the adverbs in the following sentences. Well, students, since this is not a physical class. You just watch as I do the corrections for you. The baby cried loudly. The baby cried loudly. Loudly, dear, is the advert. So I on the line. Sonia broke her pot last night. Last night is the advert. Advert of a time. Why loudly is advert of man? I told Ngozi to keep the book there. There is the adverb, adverb of a place. The car overturned suddenly. The car overturned suddenly. Suddenly there is the adverb. It's an adverb of manner. We saw the elephant today. Today is the adverb in this sentence. And is the adverb of time. Okay, students, these are your assignments. Try and do it. Use the following adverb to form sentences. Do them. Send or forward your assignment to this email. FGC PhD DG class at gmail.com. Make sure your names, class, subject, and topic 
are on your assignments. Have a nice day, students.